Hey guys, welcome back to Show Me Sherry. In today's episode, I have a stitch fix for you. It's always a good day when it's a fixed day, right? Okay, so a little bit about Stitch Fix. I wanna welcome you back. If you've been with me before, thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me. I really appreciate it and enjoy the company. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm happy to have you on the Show Me Tribe. Please comment down below your name and where you're watching from so I can welcome you personally to the tribe. So, Stitch Fix, a little bit about Stitch Fix in case you've been under a rock and you don't know about Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix is a clothing subscription box service. They send you five items to try on and you have three days to do so. Stitch, Stitch Fix is a clothing subscription box service. I. Stitch Fix is a clothing subscription box service. So they send you five items. You have three days to try them on in the comfort in your in the comfort of your own home. It is a twenty dollars styling fee. Um, I do not have to pay the styling fee because I have what's called the Style Pass, and with the Style Pass, you pay forty nine dollars. You pay forty nine dollars, and uh, you don't have to pay us. It's a $20 styling fee to get a box from Stitch Fix, but anything you keep in the box, that $20 will, will be applied towards the purchase of that item. Um, if you keep all five that's in the box, you get a 25, you get a 25% discount on all the items. Okay. If you keep five items, you get a 25% discount. You do get a personal, you do get a personalized stylist. Um, so over time, they will get to know your preferences and the style that you're looking for. If you haven't tried Stitch Fix, if you haven't tried Stitch, if you haven't tried Stitch Fix before, I have a link that I'll put down in the in the description box that will save you twenty five dollars on your first fix and will also give me twenty five dollars as well. Let's see what we got. Oh, this cutter is so much easier than scissors. Okay, here is the bag that anything you don't wanna keep, you just put everything in there. It's got a shipping label already on it, paid. It's all free shipping and you just drop it in the mail. We get paperwork in every bundle, in every box. Hi, Sherry, thank you so much for coming back to pick up fix number 26. I see that you made some excellent choices from your fix preview. The Tropical Puff Sleeve Lurex Top from Daniel Rain is such a fun style that will look amazing paired with the Derlin Denim Capri that you picked up from Freestyle. I don't know which one that is. The Casey Frayed Cuff Denim Short from Vigas is a classic summer. <laughs> The Casey Frayed Cuff Denim Short from Vigos is a classic summer staple that will easily pair with so many tops. I hope you have the most fun trying these possible additions to your wardrobe. Please let me know what you think about the fix and style of each piece. Take care, Christine. I asked for Leslie. Okay, well, maybe next time. You get a, then you get a blah, 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 blah. So let's take a look at the bundle. Okay. Here is the bundle. All right, I see some denim. I see some floral. Let's look at the other side. Ooh, there's some pretty color. All right, let's open it up. See what we got. Okay. I'm gonna open the price sheet and I'll, I'll take a look at it while we go through the items. All right, right on top, we have a top from Daniel Rain. Looks kind of tropical vibed. This is the one they said was Lurex. I don't see any Lurex. Right? Tropical puff sleeve Lurex top. Lurex is a metallic threading. 
Am I crazy? I don't see a stitch of Lurex in here. Okay, well, it's short sleeve. It has, um, has elastic around the sleeve. It's very pretty colors. I like the greens and the blues and the mustards. Kind of gives me fall-like vibes, but I do like these colors. A little bit of crochet decoration around the yoke and the sleeve area. It looks like it'll be comfy. It's pretty roomy. So this top is, it's got a really big, oh, okay. So it has elastic around the neckline as well. Okay, so that would be comfortable, but you could probably even do an off the shoulder thing. I don't do that, <laughs> but yeah, I think that would lay nice. All right, let's see what it is. Daniel Rain top, it is the Puff sleeve, Lurex top, white size large. I still don't see any Lurex in here. I am, am I that blind? I have no idea where that Lurex is supposed to be. But um, yeah, I think it's super cute. Okay, so let's move on. Next we have a Mason and Bell. Oh, I forgot to tell you how much that was. So that Daniel Rain top is $64. Now the Mason and Bell, top. This is cute. Look at that ditzy floral and then some larger floral. This is pretty. All right. So this top obviously is floral. It has the peasant. It's a peasant blouse style. It has the um, tasseled, the tasseled strings with some wood beads for um, some nice decoration. It's got a flutter sleeve. Those can be good or those can be not so good. Um, it's really cute. Does it have a V-neck? Yep, it's got a nice V-neck right here. All right, let's see what they have to say. Mason and Bell Melody One Pocket Top. I don't see a pocket. Did I have the wrong thing? Oh yeah, I do. There's another Mason and Bell. Karen Tie Detail Top, Off-White. That's more like it. Size large for $44. That's not bad. Yeah, that's really cute. It feels like it would be very um, breezy and cool, lightweight to wear in the summertime. Let's see what this is made out of. All right. 100% rayon. You know, I like the look of rayon, but I hear that it wrinkles very, very easily. So I'm not sure about that. Let's see, it says machine wash cold. Only non-chlorine bleach when needed, line dry, cool iron if needed. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, you know, in the Daniel Rain Top, I forgot to tell you what, was, what that was made out of. Um, that one is also 100% rayon. The lining in it, I do not see the lining. It says 100% polyester, but I do not see lining. This top is such a mystery. <laughs> I don't see Lurex. I don't see a lining. What's up with this? Okay, let's go. Let's move on. All right. Next is a looks like a plaid top. I love me some plaid. All right. This is also Mason and Bell. This is the one pocket top, off white, size large for forty two dollars. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, I like this top. Look at the wood buttons. There's the pocket. It's got a notched neckline and little cuffed sleeves. Sleeves with a little cuff. And are those tied down? Those are tacked down. Okay. Let's see. You know, that's super cute. Okay. I like this one. We'll see what it looks like on. All right. This is made from... 100% rayon. <laughs> Everything I got is rayon. <sighs> oh, okay. Machine wash cold. Gentle cycle. Only non-chlorine bleach when needed. Line dry, cool iron. Okay. 
All right, we'll see what we think about that. Next, oh, here's the Vigos that she was talking about. Let's see, these are the Casey Frayed Cuff Denim Short. No, these are the Elliott Utility Pocket Bermuda Short Coral Color, size 16W for $48. That's cheap for a pair of shorts. And here we go. It's got the utility pockets right here in the front. It's a beautiful color. I don't have this color in shorts. It looks very stretchy. Looks very comfortable. I love the frayed hem at the bottom. Zipper front. And it has back pockets. These are cute. I wonder what the inseam is on this. Let's see. Okay, this is 98% cotton and 2% spandex. So it will have some nice stretch. Um, it says to lay flat to dry. I wonder why. This is the Marley Short, it says. That's not what this said. This said Elliot. Well, inside it says Marley Short. Um, I would say that the inseam is gonna be okay. I have to have at least a five inch inseam and then I'm still kind of gritting my teeth. So next we have another something from Vigos. So we got two Vigos items. This is, this is the Marley, but it says Melody. Okay, I'm super confused. All right, we got the Vigos Casey Frayed Cuff Denim Short. And these are Indigo 16W, $48. Ooh, I really like the back pockets. Look, you guys, it's got distressing on the back pockets. It's got some distressing right here. I am struggling with the light. I am afraid you guys cannot see this stuff. There you go. Has the frayed hem cuffed and it does have stretch. I bet it's got some spandex in it. It is 94% cotton and 6% spandex. Wow, this has even more spandex. And again, they say lay flat to dry. Five pocket styling and lots of little distressing. And you guys, I really like the um, the lighter rinse to these. I don't have any light rinse shorts. These are super cute. So if those fit, they're super soft too. Now inside, or... I'm a little confused though why both Vigos shorts are saying it, it's look, they're not they're not matching up to the label what it says Marley short but this is the Casey frayed cuff denim short. Okay. All right. Well, that's kind of strange. Okay. So it looks like I have some cute pieces to try on. Um, if I kept everything in the box, the subtotal is $246. That's really not bad for five pieces, but with a buy all discount of 25% off, that takes $61.50 off for subtotal, the whole box for $184.50. $184.50, that's probably one of the cheapest boxes I've ever seen for all five. Of course, we're in summer and summer styles don't use as much fabric, so maybe that's why. Maybe they're just cheaper <laughs> in the summertime. Okay, well, we're gonna have to get to trying these clothes on and see what we think. I'll be back. Okay guys, I have the first outfit on, but before I show you, I wanna say something. I really didn't wanna show you clothing boxes yet. I mean, I want to, but I'm not where I want to be. So keep that in mind. I know I'm a big mama jama right now. So that being said, please be kind and let me know when I try these things on what looks good on me and what doesn't. All right, so for the first outfit, I have the Mason and Bell um, peasant style floral top and the Vigas coral uh, frayed hem shorts. Now, I don't usually like shorts this short with, with my current weight, 
but I think that they are super cute. So let's take a look. Okay, so here's the top. All right, it's, it's got the V-neck or the V-notch neck with the um, peasant strings. Um, it has flutter sleeves. I think, I think it's really cute. My issue My concern is sometimes with these lighter colors, it kind of, it just looks larger. And by the way, the camera does add 10 pounds, just so you know. All right, so let's look at the shorts. I have the coral shorts on. Um, they're very comfortable. They're very stretchy. Yes, you can see my pooch, but I'm working on that. It's got the frayed hems down below. They're extremely comfortable. I love the color, and these were from Vigos, and this is Mason and Belle. Um, I think the outfit is cute together. I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. I'm afraid with the light colored shorts that it might accentuate um, my curves a little more than I want to. I don't know, tell me what you guys think, because I, I do need your help. All right, so this is it for outfit number one. Okay, all right, and I'll be back with the next, I'll just try on the next top with these shorts. Hang on just a second. Okay, I'm back with the next top. My husband's in the other room and he said, that looks very slimming on you. I didn't think so, but that's nice to hear. Okay, so the next top is the plaid top by Mason and Bell. Um, this top, it's just me. I mean, I love plaids, love plaids. Um, I love the wood buttons here. I like the notch neck and it's not too low. Um, the pocket, I'm not real big on pockets, but the placement on this one doesn't bother me so bad. Um, I think it's very flattering. So yeah, I do like this one and I don't think that it's adding even more bulk to me than what I thought with the other shirt, but you guys tell me what you think. All right, and of course I still have those same coral shorts on that you've already seen. So, yeah, I, you know, I just find this a very flattering top, a very flattering cut on the neckline. Um, yeah, I like this one. So, all right, let's go. I'm gonna go try on the next outfit, the last outfit, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with the last outfit. Now, I gotta tell you, when I tried this shirt on, I studied it hard, and I don't see one strand of Lurex metallic threading anywhere in the shirt, so I have no idea why they call it that. But this is the top by Daniel Rain. This is the tropical print one, and I'll back up and let you see it. It has the elastic around the waist, it has the elastic around the neck, and the sleeves. So it kind of gives with you, and it's very comfortable. Um, it has this detailing right here, Kind of looks like a crochet in a way around the sleeves and around the neckline. Here's the back. I paired it with the Vigos, um, the Vigos cuffed, the Vigos cuffed distressed jeans. And these are the lighter wash. I don't have a lighter wash in shorts. Um, again, I'm not, fond of showing my legs right now, but these are a little longer and I find them very comfortable. They're very stretchy um, and yeah, I kind of like them, but I don't know if I want to, I don't know how flattering they are. So here's the outfit. I would not generally wear these two pieces together. Um, I would wear this top with a more darker denim than what I have it, than what I have it paired with today. I don't know, I'm torn about this box. Um, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think, I need your help. All right, I'll be right back for the recap. Okay, I survived. Be kind, please. I was very nervous about doing a clothing try on. Let me know what you guys think down below. I really am on the fence about this box. I'm not really sure. So that being said, let's go through the 
recap, we've got, all right, the Mason and Bell Melody One Pocket Top. That one was the, the plaid top. Um, I really liked the design. You know, of course I'm a plaid girl, I love plaid. So I really liked that. I liked the way that it laid on me. I found it kind of flattering the way it was laying. I'm not too sure. I mean, I like oranges and corals and pinks on me a lot, but that one was kind of a rusty sort of color. I do have a pair of rusty pants, but I just, it doesn't scream summer to me. To me, I like, um, I like really bright, fun, happy colors in the summertime. So, I don't know, tell me what you think. Um, the Vigos shorts, both of them fit very good. They both were super comfortable. My only concern is the fit, like what it looks like. Um, so let me know what you think. I got in those very easily. They were very comfortable. Um, if I kept one of them, knowing how well it does fit me right now, I may size down from a 16W to a 14 because I um, don't know how long I would still be in my 16s. And I have a few pair of 16s right now. So I may size down so that I can wear it um, soon. So let me know what you think about those. Um, and then we have the Daniel Rain Tropical Puff Sleeve Lurex Top. Yeah, right. Okay, so that Tropical um, Puff Sleeve Top that was not Lurex, it was white and, t okay, so just tell me what you think of that one. I thought it was really pretty. I liked the greens and blues. I do like greens and blues a lot. Um, again, I don't know how summery that looked, but let me know if you thought that was flattering. Um, it was comfortable. The thing about that shirt is that with the elastic all over, you know, the sleeves, the, the waist, the hem, and the neckline, that would stay with me as far as sizing for a while. So I wouldn't really outgrow that too quickly. And then the tie detail top, the one by Mason and Bell that was floral. From what I saw on the camera, it kind of looked to me like it made me look a little bit larger than what I actually am. So I don't know. Anyway, I need your help. I don't, I'm, you know, if it wasn't, if I wasn't going to lose any more weight and go down more sizes, which I will be doing, um, I would likely maybe even keep all five because it's such a good deal. It's a really good deal. And I really didn't, I think, I thought that most everything was comfortable. I just don't know if it's flattering. Um, but since I'm going to be soon in a new size, um, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Give me your opinion. I need some help, please. Okay, so I survived my first try on. I have a wantable coming soon. Um, so I plan on probably filming that next week. I'm not sure when that will upload, but uh, it is a theme box. I do remember that. I'm just not sure which theme. I'll be filming some more videos in the next few days. I still have several boxes left to film. Yay! And um, until we meet again, Godspeed and many, many blessings. Bye-bye.